obviously I was injured for seven months. Uh, I was out with an injury on my shoulder. It wasn't the nicest, especially for me. Uh, I've never been out for, for so long. You know, especially when our team's going well, you know, it's, it's quite tough to kind of uh, stand and see from the side with all honesty. It was frustrating for me, but I'm just glad to be back and you know, that's in disposal now, so I'm not really thinking about it. For myself, I'm coming back. You know, I envisioned um, everything that was going on, you know, like weird enough as it is, you know, everything that did happen when I came back uh, against Leinster, that's exactly how I thought about it. You know, lucky enough when I played against Glasgow, you know, I came off the bench and those moments that you kind of embrace and capture, Earlsy, you know, I'm glad that he was out there because, you know, he caught, we caught eyes and, you know, I call him the Fijian Irishman, so um, I was lucky enough to uh, dot down in the corner. There are big occasions when um, you do play, so I visualise how exactly I think that game's going to go. But then I also have that uh, feeling of envisioning, like, geez, like, what if this happens, you know, like, and then when it does actually happen, you kind of have that sense of feeling of, man, that's actually quite nice, you know what I mean? It's kind of weird enough, in a way, like, what I'm trying to explain. It's kind of like uh, McGregor with, um, you know, like, he, he knows exactly what he's going to do. He's going to knock him out in the first round. But, uh, yeah. When it comes to this part of the season, it's a scary thing because guys that are on there coming up to the end of their contract, whether they want to stay or where they want to go. And in my case, this is where I see myself where I can you know, produce my, the best years of um, you know, my rugby, especially with my age profile. Also, I have a vision to go back home and play in the next World Cup, but then I'm content now to know that you know, I'd love to stay around here for however long I can. There's a lot of competition in terms of uh, midfield positions and I know we have Chris Farrell coming in also and um, you know we have the likes of Yako and um, Rory there and also you know the young fellas like Dan Goggin in the academy so I just know that you know these are only things I can control which is my performances on the field and I let everything else take care of itself.